And uh, I'd like to um, firstly introduce um, from Fuller's Brewery, Mr. Richard Fuller. Tim, thank you very much. This is obviously Dolly's day, very special day, um, but I'd just like to start with um, a thank you to Tim for uh, helping put this together and compare it. And there's a, there's a really important reason why. Because Tim's great-grandfather had this pub, he used to own this pub, and all his ten, ten, his ten children were born here. So that was quite a while ago. And his grandfather then bought the Wendover Brewery and ran it until he joined up in 1914, which is when Dolly was born. And not only that, but when, um, when Tim's parents were married in the local church here, they had their reception here, and Dolly was a waitress at their reception. So there's been a long connection with, in 1948, there's been a long connection with, uh, with Dolly, which is fantastic. Um, Dolly was born on the 19th of April 1914, um, just before the First World War. Women didn't have a vote then, so things have moved on a lot. Um, she, started, she started at the pub in 1938, and that means she's worked here for 76 years. I think that's quite amazing. Now, at Fuller's, <laughs> I think that must be a record. Got to go in the Guinness Book of Records. But at Fuller's, we always thought you did, you'd done quite well if you'd done 45 or 50 years. So 76 is, I don't think, will ever, ever be beaten. Um, but if you think back then, um, when Dolly was working behind the bar, King George VI was on the, on the throne. <laughs> um, Winston Churchill was Prime Minister. Um, and we were about to start the Second World War. And since then, there have been 14 Prime Ministers at Westminster and a new monarch. So a lot has changed. Um, and on that note, I think it's worth me reading this little letter, Dolly, that uh, is to you. Talking of uh, all those Prime Ministers, this is from 10 Downing Street. Um, Dear Dolly, I'm writing to send you my warmest congratulations as you celebrate your 100th birthday today. I understand that a very special celebration is taking place at the Red Lion Hotel to mark your birthday and to pay tribute to the truly remarkable 77 years you've worked and continue to work as a waitress there. This is an amazing achievement and I know you're held in great affection by very many people in Wendover as well as the many hundreds of Red Lion customers you must have met over the years. You will have many fascinating stories to tell, and I hope this special occasion will give you another wonderful memory. Samantha joins me in sending you our best wishes for a very happy day. Yours, David Cameron. <clears throat> so a lot of history. Um, but I think uh, what I found really interesting was I've just been round judging the window displays in the in the shops and I took the opportunity because I thought it was, it was brilliant where you walk down the high street and everything is all about Dolly's 100th birthday and so I walked in and had a few little sort of chats with some of the people and um, they came across with the same thing it was all about Dolly everyone knows Dolly Dolly's been part of the community since before they can remember, which is not surprising because I don't think anyone else has reached 100 here, so it would be before you remember. But this wonderful feeling of community, and Dolly, Dolly, you're actually at the heart of that. So it was great seeing those, those, and I thought I'd just let you know who had won the competition. I've got my bit of paper here. Lots of window displays. We decided we'd give two um, highly commended, one to Wendover Hardware, who'd got a wonderful display of old photographs, including some of a very young Dolly. So that was great. Um, Agora, just across the road there, gets a highly commended. That's Dolly's grand, uh, granddaughter, I believe. So well done to Agora. Um, in second place was Peach Lane Studios, who'd pulled in all their sort of uh, contacts and created a wonderful, wonderful little... Uh, a tea party for you, uh, probably a bit on the small scale for you, but anyway, in the window, it was great. But I thought the best one, and the one that reflected the whole pulling together of the community, was the Harpenton Building Society's display, because they'd involved two of the local schools. Well done, I can see them there. 
and they got all the children to fill in different coloured birthday cakes for Dolly and they had a little competition themselves. And I think today is all about the community and Dolly, so I think that summed it up beautifully. So Harpenden, you've won it. Um, I think I've probably gone on long enough, but I would just like to thank um, in particular Martin and um, Sarah for organising today. No mean achievement. Um, and thank you.